Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tashawn here and I'm back with another exciting video. You guys, I am beyond words, blown away, um, excited, like all the things. I like, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. So I received this wonderful um, random act of kindness from my good friend Jay. Um, Oh my God, like when I got this box and when I was like, what is in here? And when I opened it up, I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I cannot believe this guy. <laughs> so I was like, what is going? I was like, what is in this box? Like I messaged him, I was like, what is in this box? And he was like, mm -hmm, you have to wait and see. Like it, it was so um, unexpected in terms of like everything that was in there. Like, you know, um, when it comes to random act of kindness, you never know what you're going to get, you know? So it's always a shock to be like, oh my God, you gave me all of this. You were too kind. You were too generous. And I feel the same way about this package as well. So Jay had did, just to give you guys a little bit of background. So Jay had did customs with L3. Um, I also did customs with L3 as well. And he also did, he was on the custom list for Glitterati. And you guys all know that when it comes to Glitterati, it is very hard to get on her customs list. Um, you, when it comes to the random drawings, it's hard to get, you know, be selected for the random drawings. You only really have the opportunity to try Glitterati Wax if you get on the mystery box um, yearly list. I was fortunate enough to make that list um, and I was, I, I fell in like the 200 range of numbers as in terms of people on the list. So I got my box of mystery um, wax on April the 11th. However, um, before I even signed up for the mystery box, you know, um, Jay had, you know, he, he basically was, he was, he was so excited about his custom list and he was like, oh my God, I can't wait or whatever. So he finally got his customs. He did his video. He posted on his, you know, his, all his, um, social media platforms. And, um, it was just like, oh my God, like what he got was amazing. So it was so funny. Cause you know how, like when you want to surprise someone, but you're so excited that you can't contain yourself. And so he like messaged me and was like, um, yeah, you know, you may or may not be getting something from me and I was like huh what I was like oh my god stop it are you serious he was like yeah he was like you know I wasn't gonna keep all this without sharing the wealth right so it was just so funny but like I said I didn't know what was going to be in this package he basically was like I can't keep it to myself like I was trying to surprise you but me being so excited about this he was like I just can't keep the surprise so he was like just so you know you will be getting something so I was like, okay, um, in my mind, it was just the Glitterati, right? So um, when I opened up this box, it was more than in the Glitterati. And it was just like, so I was like, oh my God, this is so much wax and everything. I am so thankful. I am so appreciative. Thank you so much, Jay. Um, you know, in, I haven't been in the wax community that long. I've been here um, this October. It will be two years. So... Um, I'm still considered like not like new, but I haven't been in the wax community as long as some of the other waxies. And in this community, I've come across um, quite a few people, and some of those people I have the opportunity to you know pretty much call friends and we talk regularly, um, if not daily, you know, um, weekly, every couple of weeks. We're like, hey, how's it going, and things like that. So Jay is one of those persons that we communicate every single day, and it's so funny. And we've been communicating like that since we did um we did a round robin and um we all everybody that was part of the round robin we all just like pretty much you know communicate with each other and um you know we just have a really good time it's fun you know we talk about wax we talk about life in general and just different like random stuff but we keep it fun we keep it lighthearted. Um, some conversations get really deep and it's like oh that was a deep conversation but it's just really nice to be able to interact um with people and to get to know a little bit more about them and just find things that you may have in common and all of that so i feel like i i'm in the presence of a, a great group of people that i communicate with on the regular and i'm quite sure other people in the wax community have come across some people and have the same feeling with the people that they interact with and things like that and it's amazing it's amazing that we all come together over the love of wax and that it develops into something more so I am so, so thank thankful. Thank you so much. Jay, like, 
you just don't know like i was so giddy when i got this package i did receive this on the april 18th and um i had opened it and i was like oh my god i gotta film a video because this is just amazing but of course in true fashion i've been so exhausted so busy with work have not had the time but now i have the time to actually sit down and actually talk about these blends so with that being said let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to start off with um l3 first because i have way more glitterati than i do l3 <laughs> um but like the star of the show is is glitterati i'm gonna put, put it out there that's the star of the show and he just threw in these extras with l3 as a little su extra surprise for me and i am so thankful for that so like i said these were his customs that he did so these are some of his customs and this one is meet me at 12 a.m and this is blackberry bay lavender and lemon mint and I love the way he, like, he, <laughs> it's so funny because I had also sent him a random act of kindness, which was so funny. And we kind of both had the same idea of, like, making these look like little, our own little puppy packs in terms of, like, how L3 packaged stuff. So, we, we both was on the same page with that. So, let's see what this, this one smells like. Ooh. Wow. I get, like, an earthiness which I'm assuming is coming from the Blackberry Bay. I get the lavender and that lemon mint. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, that smells amazing. Wow. And that's that. Oh, that, that Blackberry Bay is really nice. Um, I, like, I get, like, a nice earthy note in this blend. And it, it, it works. It's really, really nice. Then we have Chartreuse. And this is White Tea, Kiwi, Granny Smith, Apple, and Green Clover Aloe. I have never had a blend with Kiwi in it before, so I'm very intrigued. Oh, I do get the, you know what, I get, it's so weird. Like, I get the kiwi, I get, like, the seeds from the kiwi. Oh, this is really nice. That green clover and aloe gives it, like, a nice freshness. You get the juiciness of that um, Granny Smith apple. And that white tea is just really, really blending well with this. Oh, I might have to add this to, I'm on the list again for customs with L3. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any more wax, but I put myself on the list again. I may have to add this one. Oh, wow, that is really, really beautiful. And this is one of the shapes. It's so funny because um, I got my actual customs and I was like, yeah, I think I'm good you know then i started like seeing other stuff and i'm like oh or and thinking of other blends so i put my name on the list again <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> so this one is tropical treasures and this is coconut lime breeze coconut leaves and guava oh nice and coconutty tropical with that guava a hint of citrus oh this is nice um very tropical fruity um this is really good oh wow and that coconut um, is really giving it, to my nose, I feel like it gives it like a little creaminess. This is really nice. Come on, focus. It's a little star. Start, what is that, a starfish? <laughs> um, is that Patrick? <laughs> Oh, 
And then we have Hawaiian Slumber. So this is Hibiscus, Starfruit, and Liana's Lullaby. And I love Liana's Lullaby. Oh, this one is really um, calming, relaxing for the evening time. But then you get those fruits, or this you get the star fruit and the hibiscus, which is like a flower. So it's like fruity, floral, calming. Oh wow, that one's nice. Great nighttime blend. And we have a little flip flop. So cute. Then we have a Sirens uh, Lullaby, and this one is Saltwater Mermaid and Sleepy Time. And I love Saltwater Mermaid blends. Mm, I get the the sleepy time and that salt water mermaid oh wow this is beautiful another nice nighttime blend it's just like um, it's giving chill vibes like I'm just going to sit here and just chill have the windows open, have a little nice breeze blowing in. Like that nighttime breeze. Oh, that smells so good. And that's that. And then the last L3 is, our custom is Small Town Boy. And this is Southern Sweet Tea, Georgia Peach, Blackberry Iced Tea. Oh, that Georgia Peach is so good. Mmm, you get the blackberry. You get that sweet tea. Wow, so you definitely pick up on the tea notes and then that peach and that blackberry. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mm. And that's what that looks like, a little puzzle piece. I definitely uh, need um, this in a drink, <laughs> like, for sure. That would be really, really delicious. The way this smells, so good. So that was it for the um, L3. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you guys on pause for a second and put the L3 in the back and move the Glitterati to the front. Give me one second. So I'm going to start with the Scent Shot Cups. So he did give me three. And this one is Raindrops and Tahiti Treat. Oh, this is very tropical and aquatic. Oh, wow. So I can picture myself um, at an like, island um, beach somewhere. There's like a waterfall falling and I have like some type of tropical drink in my hand. You could just smell the water, the sound of the, the waterfall falling. Mm, this smells really good. Come on, focus. 
is trying to pick up everything in the back. Here we go. So I went to Puerto Rico one year and we went to El Junque and um, the waterfall there was amazing. <laughs> it was just, and you have to see it in its full glory. So as we were driving to get there, like it, I mean, when I tell you the sky just opened up, it was just like, okay, what is going, what is happening? Because at one point we were driving and it was nice and sunny, it was hot. And the next thing you know, the sky got black and, and it was just dark. And then it was just like heavy downpours. So by the time we got to the rain, um, rain, uh, the rainfall, you could see the full effect of the water. So I was able to capture that in the picture. And I have that sitting on my desk. And every time someone comes to my desk, they think it's a postcard. And I'm like, no, I actually took their picture. And they're like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. So um, that was like one of the best experiences I've had being like seeing an actual waterfall and just being able to experience it and capture it and have that memory um, forever. I can't wait to really get to, you know, start traveling again and start going to places that I've already been and going to new spots because I, I like being around like, you know, on the islands, beaches and things like that. So I can't wait for that. So, um, but that literally transports you to someplace magical. <laughs> so this one is saltwater taff taffy and coastal rain and toasted marshmallow. Ooh. I get that sweet stickiness from the salt water taffy. The toastiness from the toasted marshmallow. And that coastal rain. Wow. Oh gosh, this is so good. It's aquatic, it's sweet. And it works like you wouldn't think when you see these notes, you'd be like, what? Rain with something sweet, like a candy and like a toasted marshmallow. But it works. You have to picture in your mind, like, where would this take you? You know, you could be um, out, you know, with a group of friends having like a little bonfire. Um, you know, the kids are nearby. They got their, you know, salt water taffy and they're eating candy. You know, this is like the one time you let them, you know, eat whatever they want. So they're eating their their salt water taffy. They're running around playing. You know, you you got your, um, you're roasting your marshmallows. And then, you know, you might get like a soft rain start to drop or whatever. And, you know, um, you're worried like, oh my God, you know, with the fire and like, no, we're good. We got a tent over us, so we're okay. But you're still outside and still can enjoy that and you could smell that rain coming down. This is that, <laughs> to me anyway, that's what I get from it. Someone else might get something else, but that's what I get. And this one is soft linen, berry licious and white tea. So I definitely get the berry licious. That soft linen is giving me um, laundry vibes. This is very beautiful. And I do get that tea. So this is giving like a berry tea drink. Laundry that is dry and it's like hanging outside on the line and you're sitting out back, you know, you're sitting in your, your lawn chairs the wind is blowing, so you get that, um, that the fabric softener, the, you know, the smell of the detergent, but not too strong. And you have a Berrylicious white tea drink in hand on ice. So it's ice cold. Mmm. This smells amazing. And that's what that one looks like. Pretty red color. I am like, I'm screaming on the inside, guys. Just just know that. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this. So now we're going to get into the um, uh, customs. 
that he came up with. So this one is Ocean Isle, and this is uh, White Palm, Lime Basil Mandarin, Coast, Coastal Rain. And as if you guys don't know, Jay is not um, bakery. He's more fruity, tropical, fresh, outdoorsy, earthy, woodsy tones. That's his jam. Although, he did create a custom with uh, L3 Strawberry Festival. And that's not so much bakery heavy, but it has a little bit of, so it has, um, what is it? It's uh, fresh picked strawberries, strawberry bread, summer scoop, and waffle cone. And it's amazing. It's delicious. And that, he was surprised by that scent himself. He was like, oh my God, I love this. So, um, he has one... It's not really, like, I wouldn't really call it bakery, bakery. Like, not, like, because it's not, like, cake or anything like that. I think the waffle cone just adds a little bit of something, like, a little bit of oomph to it. Just to, um, for him to be able to say, I really like this blend, you know. But if it was even, to make it more bakery heavy, he, when he submitted, um, it was a contest that was done. So, when he did the one for the contest he made it funnel cake. So I have the one with the funnel cake version. He has the waffle cone version. However, I did send him some of the version of the funnel cake one. And he was like, I like this one too. He was like, oh my God. He was like, I'm surprised that I really like these too. So his strawberry festival won him over. So he was like, this is really good. So, um, but for the most part, he's more, like I said, fruity, tropical, um, aquatic, earthy, woodsy, some masculine blends. Um, that's what he typically goes for. Mm. Man, oh man. This one is so good. You get that coastal rain. The lime and the basil with that mandarin. So you get like the citrusy notes. White Palm. I should have looked that up. I don't know what White Palm is. Ocean. Is that the name of the... Um... No, it's not. So, I think Ocean Isle is also a scent note as well. But this is aquatic, citrusy. This smells really, 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 really good. Um... Wow. I really, really like this one. But I'm quite sure I'm going to like all of them. <laughs> and the reason why I say that is because when he was getting his list together, he was sharing, like, you know, he was, like, asking for feedback. He was like, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? So um, a lot of the scents that he likes in terms of when he was picking this, I like those type of blends as well. So... Um, I was able to give feedback and, you know, and things like that. So it was kind of like one of those things where it was like, what do you think if I did this? Or how about if I do that? And I was like, oh yeah, that would sound really good or what have you. So, um, so before he, and he had revised his list like several times as we all do when we make a list, we revise it and revise it and revise it. And then even when we submit the list, we're sitting there thinking like, oh, I should have did this or I should have did that. So that's how we get, you know, pulled into the rabbit hole because we just keep, our our brains keep thinking of blends to come up with, especially ones who really enjoy customs and who like making up things. Um, I like customs. It's fun because you come up with things and, you know, sometimes you're like, ooh, this was a great blend. It's wonderful. And then sometimes you're like, yeah, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> I wasn't really going for that, but it's okay, you know, and you learn for the next time, you you know, so tweak it to to get it to where you think it should be for you so customs is fun um it is nice when when vendors create different blends and add new blends to the mix but it's also fun to be part of the process like you feel like you're part of the creative process when they open up customs for you or say oh we're doing customs you know um what do you, what are you trying to create like i feel like i'm part of the process in creating something because not only do you create those blends for you, 
but the vendors are also nice enough to be like, you know, I'm going to add these customs that are left over and I'm going to add them in like the next RTS. Um, with Glitterati, Janine, what she does is um, the mystery boxes and um, the random drawing boxes, I believe they all pretty much come from other people's customs. When she's pouring customs, she has extras and that's what she uses for those boxes. And of course, you know, um, house blends and things like that that she have on hand. So I think it's really nice that they include what you create so that other people can get the opportunity to try them too, to see if that's something that they want to, you know, order for themselves to have, you know, in their collection as well. So is this a fun process overall with, <clears throat> excuse me, with doing customs? So this one is tart berries and white tea, sang um, sangria, white peach, and Chardonnay. And as you can see, Jay really likes white tea. Like white tea is just a beautiful oil. Um, you get the tea note, it's softer. It's not like strong, like black tea is like super duper strong. But like white tea is just like soft and it's like mellow, but you get those tea notes within that white tea. It's very beautiful. So I'm not mad at that at all. And once again, this one. It's so delicious. It's like my mouth is watering with like all these drink <laughs> drink blends. Oh, this is so good. You get those tart berries. So it's like sweet, tart. You get that white tea. Then you get that sangria peach tea with the Chardonnay. And the Chardonnay is not like overly bubbly, but you get that vibe of the Chardonnay. Mmm. This is delicious. So just think, you know, you have your glass with your white tea, the Chardonnay, the Sangria, white um, peach, and then you have like real tart berries in your glass. You got the little bubbles, you know, floating around. So it's not overly bubbly, just a little bit of something, something. And um, yeah, this is good. And I didn't show you guys this piece. So this is the piece that he gave me um the <laughs> wow you're just gonna hear a lot of wow in this video i'm just forewarning you right now because <laughs> i am i'm so excited i'm like oh my gosh glitterati yay so if i don't make the custom list when she opens it up this year i'm okay i'm okay i'm okay i mean Fingers crossed, toes crossed, legs crossed, arms crossed, that I am fortunate enough to make the list. But if I don't, you know what? I got all this beautiful wax to hold me over. Um, and it's gonna, I'm, I'll be happy with that. Like, it would be great to make the custom list, but I know um, a lot of people strive for that and she only picks so many people um, each year, but I, I, I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> I have hope. Um, so this one is flannel, blackberry. Wait, no, I did this one already. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting, wait, is it? No. That was, I would feel like I, there was blackberry bay. Is that, was that blackberry bay in the, See, I'm all confused now. One second. Please hold. I knew I wasn't crazy. I was like, wait a minute. We did a Blackberry Bay one. That was the L3 custom blend. So this one is the Glitterati one. So this one, and I already took it out the bag in haste. I'm sorry. This one is Flannel, Blackberry Bay, and Cranberry Woods. Mm. That flannel is just overall a beautiful scent then you get the cranberry woods that blackberry bay so it's like earthy woodsy i wouldn't say like masculine masculine just a hint of a to me my nose is picking up a little bit like the flannel it's giving me a little bit of masculine vibes, but like, then you get those earthy, woodsy, 
and then those fruity notes mm, this is beautiful and that's what that one looks like that's that row now on to the neck let me move this out the way before I topple those over and then this one is lemongrass and green tea blackberry lavender and sage oh wow you um you get that lavender and sage One second, guys. I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. It never fails. Um, every time I try to film, my daughter finds some type of way to come out and ask questions or um, make some type of random noise. And it's like, and then she looks at you like, oh, um, am I disturbing you? <laughs> I can't. So, any, anywho, um, you definitely get that lavender um, sage. This is um, earthy. You get the citrus from like the lemongrass. I pick up on that green tea and that blackberry. Like it's juicy, the blackberry. I'm getting like juicy blackberries. Mm. This one is really good too. Mm, wow. Something about tea blends. They're really, really good. Um, I love different teas. They're so delicious. Um, like hot teas, cold teas. The only tea I don't really like is black tea. Um, I feel like it's super strong. But I will drink it here and there. And this one is Granny Smith Apple Strawberry Lemonade. Mmm, that one. Ooh, yes. I get the strawberry, I get the lemonade, I the Granny Smith Apple. So I am sitting outside on the front porch. I have myself a nice tall glass of strawberry lemonade. And I have um, a Granny Smith apple sliced up. And I'm just sitting there si sipping on my drink and eating my apple. It's breezy, sunny. And the chair that I'm sitting in on the porch is like a rocking chair, so I'm just rocking back and forth, just taking it all in. <sighs> yes. <laughs> and that's what that one looks like. So good. Wow. This is really good. Jay, you are really not helping me with my new customs list. I said I don't want to go over 10. I don't even want 10. Um, but right now, my list that I have written so far is at a 6 for the next... Um, not, uh, not for Glitterati Customs, but for my L3 Customs. So, um, just to give you... And I probably will come to those since in a second. Um... But when Jay originally did his video for his Glitterati, when he got his customs, he basically was like, you know, if you, he understands that it's hard to get on her custom list, it's hard to get her wax, period. But he was like, if you get a chance, an uh, opportunity to recreate these, by all means, have at it. So two of his blends, I did a recreation with um, L3. 
and he basically was like oh my god these were pretty spot on um so because i did send him some of those i was like you know these are the ones i created that i did that was inspired by your blends and he was like wow um so he was quite impressed um with the scents that i chose um versus what he picked and how they came out so um i'm you know looking at his scents and i'm like oh you know what can I recreate and, and try to get a dupe of or, you know, close to or whatever. And I'm thinking of different things <laughs> with some of these scents that, that's in front of me right now. And I'm like, oh, that would be nice. And maybe I could try it with this or try it with that instead or what have you. So the wheels are churning. And but doing that, my custom list for L3 is growing. Like I said, I have already six customs on the list. It's, it was four. Now it's six. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to go over 10. I don't because the first custom order I had um, 13 custom bags. So I'm trying not to do that again. You know, I have, I have a ton of wax that I'm trying to melt through and I'm trying to keep it small, but it's not working. So we'll see. So this next one is mint, mango, tea, and pineapple. Ooh. I love all of these scent notes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm, you definitely get that mint. I get that mint first. Then I pick up on the pineapple. I get the tea. Ooh, and that mango. Sweet, juicy with the mango and the pineapple. Oh, wow. But that mint just adds a little... It, like, livens it up a bit. Oh, it makes it like zesty. I like this. Like that mint is not super strong. And it's not like mint, like peppermint. It's more like mint, like a mint leaf peppermint. Or not mint leaf peppermint. Mint leaf mint. So it just gives it a little extra something to kind of like bring out the scent notes for the, the mango and the pineapple and the tea note. This one is really nice. Like, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy strong peppermint blends, but mint leaf, I love mint leaf because you get more of the earthiness from the mint leaf as opposed to like with um, like peppermint or candy cane. That's more like candy mint. Um, not to say that you can't, some people do enjoy eating peppermint leaves. Or, you know, that's their thing. If that's what you do, that's what you do. I have experienced peppermint leaf in my mojitos. <laughs> <laughs> um and in tea like uh you know but yeah mojitos the most <laughs> so this one is summer scoop mango and coconut milk so this was the one that i did um a dupe of so mine is summer scoops mango and coconut and he was like oh my god like he said they're pretty, you know, they were pretty close, pretty spot on. Um, he was happy with the way my um, blend came out. He was like, oh my God, this is, he was like, this one is good too. So either way, if you're not able to get on the Glitterati Customs Mystery Box random drawing, you could definitely recreate this with another vendor um, like I did. So, um, and when I, I did smell this one. I Like when I got this, I smelled this one because I wanted to smell the one that I have, and it's it's very close, very, very close. Like, I feel like I did a really good job with my, my dupe. You get that summer scoop, it's very creamy, the mango, the coconut milk gives it that creaminess, but you also get like a little hint of that coconut flavor it's, this is really, really delicious. Oh, wow. Mm. And this is what this one looks like. And you see those beautiful chunks in here. So I was very, very happy, um, with that. Cause I was like, oh man, you know, and, um, it was just 
you know, I was like, I want to be able to get something close enough. And I did. And I think I did pretty good. You know, it's not the exact same, but um, you still get that vibe of what this blend is, is hitting for. Then we have Blue Hawaiian Passion Fruit and Guava Hibiscus. Oh, right away I get the blue Hawaiian it is so juicy wow here we go again wow that hibiscus with that floral like pretty florals like it's so funny because me and him we we don't like floral like super strong florals but we can get with hibiscus hibiscus to me I feel like is a very pretty soft floral then you get that passion fruit and that guava. Like all those, it's just juicy, fruity, floraliness. Mm. I'm transported again, y'all. You just close your eyes and it just takes you somewhere else magical. <laughs> like it really does. Like, wow. Wow. Just think you're at your, you know, let's just say you rented a, a house by the ocean. You're sitting out. You're watching the sunset. There's some hibiscus flowers nearby by the property and the wind is blowing. So you, you get those smells from the, from the flowers. And then you have blue Hawaiian passion fruit, guava, frozen drink. Mm, with one of those little umbrella straws. You hear the birds out in the distance chirping as they're flying to their homes to, you know, sleep for the evening. The sound of the ocean calming, slow. Oh my God, I'm about to put myself to sleep. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I just put myself into like a perfectly <laughs> relaxed zen mode. Like, see, that's what wax that's what wax is supposed to do. It's supposed to transport you to this place where you're like, oh my goodness, this is just beautiful. And you know, I mean, not everything does that. Some things you're like, oh no, what was that? <laughs> but for the most part, um, it should transport you to some place where you just like this is just a, just beautiful. It's amazing. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I smell something. I'm like, you know, I may think of something that was like a memory, um, a happy memory. Um, it could be a sad memory. Nonetheless, it's a memory in itself and it takes you back. You could, you know, or it could give you like a, an idea or like just like a, a thought at that moment where you're like, wow. <laughs> you know, like you think of this whole scenario and it's just beautiful. That's what wax is supposed to do. It's supposed to be fun and just lighthearted. Like, I love it. Like wax just make like you guys. I have like the biggest smile on my face. I know y'all don't see me. I'm always behind the camera. I think I've done like one uh, face forwarding video, face forwarding, face forward video ever. Um, but like. It just makes me feel like, and I, you probably can hear it in my voice, like I, I feel giddy. <laughs> like that's what wax is supposed to do. Like it's supposed to make you feel good. It, you know, makes your home smell wonderful. You get excited. Um, I love it. Like I love it. The, like even when I talk to my friends, my friends are like, oh, you really enjoy that wax. Like, I, And I get so excited to talk to them about wax. I love it. Like it's just one of those things that I enjoy. It brings me joy. So these blends when i tell you i cannot wait to put them in the warm because i'm gonna be like oh my god like just sitting in here just like on my chill mode okay so this one is green hibiscus and peach island fresh and salty sea air Ooh, a laundry blend oh gay need to come up with this scent I'm going to have to write them. 
<laughs> be like, listen, have y'all ever d thought about doing this scent in y'all detergent? Oh, wow. I get that. See, I love salty sea air. So, like, right away, my nose picks up the salty sea air. You get that saltiness. Um, I always feel like with salty sea air, I feel like I feel saltiness, like the salt on my lips. It's so bizarre. I can taste the salt. That salt is there. Um, and it right away, it takes me back to when we used to go to the beach when I was younger. And we would be walking along the beach with our shoes off, the sand in, in between our toes. The wind would be blowing and that salt from the water would like blow. And by the time you got back to the boardwalk, your lips would be so salty and you would be like, was I just in the ocean drinking the salt, salty water? Like what the heck is going on? But that's what I always get when I smell salty sea air. Like I feel like I am right back at the beach with my friends and family. Um, you know, jumping the waves, walking along the ocean, just having a good time, running and playing um, with my friends and just having fun, just being a kid. And then you have the saltiness. <laughs> so that's what I get from this with the salty sea air. That island fresh, this is such a fresh, clean scent. That green hibiscus and peach wow and it's a good peach because you guys know if you watched any of my other videos uh i have a love-hate relationship with peach and some peaches are great and some peaches are like no that is not going to work for me um so i'm very happy that um janine's peach is a good one and this is what this one looks like i have two pieces of these little triangles um so i'm glad like because you know of course i'd be wanting to make like different peach blends when i want to you know try different things or whatnot so if i ever get the opportunity to make it on her custom list i know her um this green hibiscus and peach is really good i don't know why the peach Sometimes smells great and sometimes smells like something else. <laughs> you all know what I mean. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I I, I don't know. Um, it, I don't know if it's like a chemistry thing with your body chemistry or what, but <laughs> it's the most bizarre thing. Um, like, I picked up the different scent note. My husband picked it up when I had one peach blend. Um, my mother-in-law was like, oh, yeah, mm -mm, no, take that back out. Because I gave it to her. At first, she was like, oh, yeah. And then she said, oh, and she, said, she got home and she was like, what is that smell? And she was like, oh, no, you, you have to take this back. <laughs> so she gave it back. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but then you have other people who are like, I don't get that. Nope. I don't get that smell when, you, when I smell this. This smells amazing. And I'm like, how? Like, so... I don't know. It's a mystery to me. Um, but not all peaches smell like peach, if you know what I mean. So this one is bamboo, lemon, mint, leaf, peach, grapefruit, and thyme. Mm. Ooh, yes. That lemon, lemon, mint, leaf comes out. Mm, so good. My mouth is watering. Give me one second, guys. <laughs> A little juicy there from, from that lemon mint leaf. I pick up on the peach, the grapefruit. That thyme gives it a little bit of an earthiness to it. And that bamboo adds a little bit of greenery to it. Mmm. Wow. This smells so good. This is a like a refreshing. It's like with that lemon mint leaf, it's very refreshing. Um <clears throat> Oh, that's 
smells so good. And I like the colors of this one. Those are those chunks in there. Very, very nice. <clears throat> this, oh, I'm getting wax on my pants. Um, this reminds me of being like um, at a restaurant in Chinatown. Um, and they have like the bamboo um, trees and you have like, um, I'm just making up my own restaurant. So this would be my own restaurant in Chinatown, right? And we have like bamboo. Um, they bring you like the lemon, lemon mint leaf tea. Um, like you have different drinks. So it'd be like the lemon mint leaf tea. You would have like a peach, uh, grapefruit, um, drink. The garnish would be thyme. And um, you would be waiting for like your food, your meal to come. So you ordered your appetizers. You might have got maybe, um, what is it, like the pot stickers or um, something else. I can't think. I can't think of the menu. With what's on the menu right now. And then you, you know, you've ordered like um, dim sum or something like that. Um, yeah. And you got the music going. Um, the lighting is low to give you that, that wonderful ambiance. You're out with your friends, having a good old time. This is what this is giving me. <laughs> I, it's so funny because I work not too far from Chinatown. I'm at 5th Street. Chinatown's at 9th Street downtown. And we go there a lot, um, to get food, <laughs> like, for lunch. Like, we will, um... Before the pandemic, we would, you know, go out and we would, you know, walk up there. We would call our food in and go pick it up and things like that. So, um, they have great food I, and we love to eat. So, we would go to the different restaurants and I'm all for trying different things and trying foods and stuff like that. But it just takes me to that experience of going to those restaurants, you know, on lunch or even after work for dinner with friends. So this one is watermelon mango lime martini. <clears throat> Ooh. I like this one. I thought the watermelon was going to be super duper strong, but it's not. It's just enough watermelon, which is really good because my husband doesn't like watermelon. So when I do put this in the warmer, it's not going to be one of those things where he's like oh watermelon <laughs> it's so weird what type of person doesn't like watermelon I love watermelon so good it's refreshing but this one is beautiful you get that watermelon it's not like strong and it's not like a candied watermelon or hold on let me see Maybe it's giving a little bit of candy watermelon. The more I smell it. It smells really good though. That mango lime martini. Very nice. Mmm. Very, very nice. It's it's given juiciness. Citrusy. And it does, it smells like a, like a drink, like, um, I'll have the watermelon and mango lime martini, please. <laughs> yes. So that would be at, um, oh my gosh, what's the name of that restaurant? It's, oh, it's called the Blue Martini. That's up the street from my work. Like, we would go there and I would, I would, I would, hey, do you, are, do you have this? <laughs> See, when it comes to, like, food scents and things, I, I be trying to think of how to, you know, get them in real life. <clears throat> that probably is an actual martini joint. You just got to know to ask for it. Uh, this one is, we're coming up on the end, guys. So, this one is Pina Colada Dreamsicle Mango Sorbet. So, this was the other blend that I did um, 
a dupe of with my custom. So it was pina colada, orange, orange sherbet, 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 <laughs> orange sherbet, <laughs> mango sorbet. And I smelled this one as well because I wanted to see what it was like. Um, <clears throat> and it was amazing. Same thing, like the that dreamsicle um, is like that creaminess because it's like the orange with the ice cream. The mango sorbet is creamy. The pina colada, you get that tropical goodness. So I will say that my recreations came out pretty darn good, if I may say so myself. Like they just, they just, they they smell so juicy. Mmm, wow. I can see my like this and I'm 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 gonna be honest, when you think of tropical, like I think of like Hawaii, um that comes to mind when I think of tropical all the time. Like I think of like, oh Hawaii. I guess because I wanna go there for a trip one year. I will get there. Um I have a lot of places I want to travel to. I love to travel, but you know, right now I'm keeping my travel kind of local. This smells so good. It's giving me juicy, tropical, citrusy deliciousness. Mmm, that smells so good. It's like I want to eat it. <laughs> Don't eat the wax, Tashawn. Don't eat the wax. And that's what that looks like. So good. And let's see. <clears throat> then we have blue cotton candy, green apple, and lemon drops. Those lemon drops. Mm. Tart. <laughs> so the blue cotton candy is giving it like extra sweetness. The lemon drops is giving it real tartness, <laughs> which I love. It's like the lemon drop, your lips pucker because <laughs> it's so tart. That's what the lemon drops is giving. And then you get that green apple. I can smell the skin. No, wait. This green apple is not Granny Smith apple. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. See, I just mixed the two up. So, Granny Smith apple is a different oil. This green apple is giving you more of, um, what you call it? Jolly Rancher Green Apple. And those also give you like that pucker tartness too. If you ever had those. It's like that green apple in your mouth be like <laughs> when you eat them. <laughs> At least for me. I don't know about anybody else. But this, it just be like, oh, okay. Like the, it's so good. And but it's so tart, but then you're still like, this is delicious. I, I still got to eat this. But the tartness is like, it's really getting to you. But you're like, mm -hmm, I'm going to enjoy this because it's delicious. <laughs> but then you're like, ooh, this is tart. It's like that balance of sweet and tart. Oh, this is so good. So, yeah, so if you ever get green apple, green apple is more of the Jolly Rancher candy. Whereas Granny Smith apple is the actual fresh apple. Big difference. It's a big, big difference. Um, and I almost mixed them up. I'm delirious <laughs> from being transported to these different islands. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs>
this one and let me pull this one up so I don't have to reach, you know, the disadvantages of being short. Um, this one is blueberry fresh pear white tea and cucumber. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. So I get the white tea. So this gives me a glass of white tea, cold white tea, with cucumbers, slices, slices of cucumber, um, slices of pear, like diced pear, and blueberries. So you know how you have like the uh, infused water? This would be infused tea. Mmm. That pear smells so good. And I get that blueberry. And the freshness of the cucumber. Oh yeah. This one is another one. I just came from the spa um, at the resort and um, I went to the bar and I said, can I get a glass of infused uh, white tea with cucumber, fresh pear and blueberries, please? She's back, y'all. Oh gosh, <laughs> this smells so good. She must have asked me something, but I told her to give me one second. <laughs> um, I tell you, it never fails. She don't want nothing. She don't want nothing. She just wanna stare at me. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> you heard her. She said, yes, I do. She looking for a snack. That's what that is. Can I have some chocolate? Give me one second, okay? And then the last one that we have <laughs> is Mac Apple Blackberry and Lemon Ribena. <laughs> She's trying to talk to me, y'all. <laughs> I told him to be quiet. Give me one second. <laughs> oh, you get that lemon verbena. Smells good. And the blackberry. And that mac apple. The juiciness of a mac apple. It's fresh, like you just cut it open. Mmm, I like this. This is a really nice fruity blend. That lemon though. Wow. Mmm. This is perfect. I just had a thought. This is perfect to put on when you, in the morning, like you get up in the morning and you're cleaning like the kitchen, the living room and you put this on like you know how you have like the lemon um, verbena essential oils and you put that in your diffuser this is what this is giving me oh that smells so good so you got the lemon verbena essential oil in your diffuser and then you you cut up some apples and um so, did I say blueberry I'm gonna say blackberry um and some blackberries you, you take out some blackberries and make you like a little you know, little fruit salad. This is really, really good. The blackberries, the lemon verbena, and the mac apple is just phenomenal. Oh, wow. So good. And this is what this one looks like. It has these pretty purple chunks. My favorite color. I have a little helper over here smelling with me. Smells good. 
Can you put it in my room in the morning? We'll see. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome, Mama. She has her own warmer in her room, and she makes uh, requests sometimes for scent blends. So that was it, guys. I cannot thank you enough, Jay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are the best. Oh, my gosh. I am blown away by your kindness, your friendship, just everything. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I hope you are enjoying the scents that I sent you. I know a couple of them you were like, oh, my God, I like this. Oh, I, I think I might have to get this too so we're, we're in the same boat we're looking at stuff and we're and we're melting things and we're like yeah i think i might need to add this um you know to my next custom list so I try to recreate this somehow or whatever or we're thinking of different things so the wheels get churning uh a lot when you melt stuff or when you see blends or things like that so i am truly truly grateful um thank you so much i am going to enjoy all of these blends I cannot wait. The L3 ones, the Glitterati, just everything. Thank you so much. And um, that's it, guys. I know this was a long one, but if you made it to the end, I do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you are notified of the next video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.